Welcome back to another episode of Empty on the Road Remastered. It is I, AKW. And in today's episode, we're going to check out a place that's rather very unique. Now, I know I say that in every single episode. However, this place truly is unique. Not only that this place was once taken over by a very popular retailer chain that we all know and love today, but it's what's inside of this place that makes it very unique. Also, this place holds plenty of retail gems as well, so I'm super excited to show you guys. So if you're interested to see what this place looks like, then come along with me, sit back and relax, and let's go check out this place, shall we? is getting better every day. <laughs> That's gotta make you smile. Always low prices, always Walmart. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, enough stalling. This is the Town Square Mall. And its building once held a Walmart store. The non-supercenter version, that is. Now, I can't tell you when this smaller Walmart closed. However, I can most definitely tell you that they closed this down only for an upgrade of a Super Walmart Center, which is only a couple of blocks down the street. But, we're not focusing on Walmart, however. We're going to focus on the Town Square Mall and its unique features along with a couple of retail gems that I spotted while being here. So, let's do that, shall we? So we're going to start with my most recent footage, which was taken back in November of 2019. I also filmed here back in 2018, which I'll show that footage too. But, here it is. This is the Town Square Mall here in Spring Hill, Florida. And also, as you can see, this place is like an indoor flea market, as I seem to call it. Let me almost pause right here, though, because real soon, you're going to see a retail gem. Feast your eyes. Retail gem number one. A Toys R Us cart. Which I was surprised that they still had. In my last visit, they actually had two carts. I'll keep on pointing out more gems as we move on. But this is the place right here. As you're greeted by the many indoor shops and classic cars that they sometimes have out front. Also along with the friendly people and vendors. Plus, you can't forget the amazing Pittsburgh Steelers display, which you'll see real soon. Also, shout out to Wally B26, by the way. All in all, this place is pretty cool. Now, it's not your typical place for the younger crowd, but if you're looking for, eh, I don't know, maybe some furniture or some thrifty needs, jewelry repairs, etc., well, then this is that place for you. Also, if you have a small business you want to attend to, you can open it up right here at the Town Square Mall. Yes, it's true. You can also buy mattresses here as well, as this is the mattress shop. Also, it's interesting how this section of the store has dim, dark yellow lighting. Could they have been originals from when Walmart was open? I don't know, but it does give off a nostalgic feel. Here was a small shot of the front where it was Thanksgiving at the time. Now we're taking a walk towards the back of the place. Not much shops were back here, but I guess that they were trying to get more vendors for those vacant areas. However, where the former Walmart Garden Center was, is now where a golf cart service shop takes place. I'll show you that real soon. Okay. 
Over here, I thought the shopping display was pretty cool. Now, this next part may sound a little strange, but the floors, the old school Walmart floors, also along with the lined tape, boy that brings back memories. I guess this little guy is only for store display. I like them though, he seems pretty chill. Here's a little snippet of the Pittsburgh Steelers area. Here's the cute street signs that they have up for all of the aisles. Those doors straight ahead lead into the golf cart store, which once again was the former garden center. Here's Mike's Cafe. A nice little sit-down area to eat. There's a ton of gems there, which we'll get into later. Here's more of the empty vendors in the back. And last but not least of the 2019 visit, a better look at the Steelers section. Now, we take a look at some highlights of the 2018 visit. So, here's a little bit of raw audio of my amazement, and then we'll dive into the retail gems. This place is cool. This place is amazing. This place is awesome. It's like a flea market inside of a building. It's like a department store with flea markets. That is so cool. This is the coolest thing I've seen in my life. Oh my gosh. Look at that, they got Pittsburgh Steelers stuff. Wally B26, if you're watching this, Shout out to you. I know you're in the Pittsburgh area. Brace that in. They got all types of stuff. Look at all that Steeler stuff. Wow. There's a cart shop over there. Community meeting room. So here's a closer look into the golf cart shop, a.k.a. Former Walmart Garden Center. Sorry if I sound like a broken record, by the way. And now, in this next clip, we're in Mike's Cafe, where at the time I had some mozzarella sticks, which were bomb, by the way. But pay close attention to all of this stuff. Here's a couple of gems right here. I found an Ollie's calendar along with a Burger King crown. I also had spotted a red Target card that they had at the time. 
So in total, I've counted a total of five retail gems. The Walmart building, Toys R Us carts, Target cart, Burger King crown, and lastly, the Ollie's calendar. But outside of the gems, the place itself is nice and unique. It's filled with amazing people, classic items, and decent shops. All in all, the Town Square Mall is pretty neat in my opinion. Check it out for yourself if you haven't already. With that being said, thank you guys once again for sticking with me on yet another episode of the Empty on the Road Remastered series. I really appreciate it. And if you're still watching this video all the way through, you're amazing. I apologize for the lack of episodes lately. I've been honestly lazy. And for that, I apologize. But I promise to try my absolute best to get episode 6 out there as fast as possible. No excuses at all. But anyways, thank you guys for watching as always. I appreciate your support as always. It really means a lot and it keeps me and the content going. And uh, with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for the support as always. And take care. See you next time.